Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to talk about the map that I'm using for my narrative campaign. This is the map that uh, I created. So I found on Google this image and then I found also other couple of images. This one had some soldier and this one didn't. But basically then with a bit of Photoshop I mixed them and uh, I give them a name. So this one on the top is uh, Gara, the desert. Uh, Gara was my favorite character in uh, Naruto, so I thought it would be good to dedicate this desert to him. And then we have Frostland, where the destruction forces are. Here there is the death forces. And then we have Ashland, where chaos is. And finally Niagara. Uh, an amazing place where to be for order forces. So then what I've done is create uh, some specific rule for each of these four terrain. I may think uh, to add some terrain in the future, it depends from how much time I will have to do it. But uh, quickly going through the different uh, rules for this four terrain, that maybe you will find it useful also for your own campaign. Let's start for, from Gara. The desert. All of these are in Italian because um, I've learned the game in English but then I had to learn as in Italian as well and all the people from here are of course I'm in Italy so I've written the rules in, um, in Italian but I'm gonna try to translate in English straight away. Anyway, Gara where the death were a long time ago and uh, now if you are playing with death in this desert, you can add one to all your casting and unbinding roles. And also, there will be a scenery in the middle that represents the quicksand. Um, so, every unit that are within one inch of this terrain in the middle will decrease with half, half the movement that they can do. Movement, piling, charging, every type of movement. Except for unit that start and finish the movement outside of this range and that can fly. Of course, they can fly over the quicksand. Uh, but death, of course, if you have the death keyword, this one doesn't affect you. So you can move faster than the other. And uh, the last one, basically, uh, every, at the end of each month, the player that has more... Uh, victory point on the on this terrain we gain this artifact they basically give the to a hero that have this uh, artifact some special rules in this case this is an old artifact that was in, that were inside a tomb and um, at the beginning of every game you can pick a hero and this hero can heal d3 wounds uh, once per game in your hero phase so this is the Gara, the desert. Then I've written also the rules for Ashland. I found some image online of this. I believe this is an image from Tyler Mangle. He's doing an amazing, an amazing job for the Tomb King. He's doing the Tomb King Battle Dome. Anyway, I want to do a video on him and what he's doing with uh, also a lot of people that are helping me. Anyway. Coming back, Ashland. Um, this is a really high mountain where the Chaos God has some influence so that all the people that try to go there basically get crazy. But if you are for from Chaos and you suffer a wound on a 6+, plus, this wound is ignored because the Chaos influence and winds basically um, kill the wounds. And... Um, in the center, we should add a mountain or any scenery pieces that represent a bit of lava or wherever. And uh, what it happens is that um, you roll a dice for each unit that are within one inch from this terrain in your hero phase on a 4 plus that units offer B3 mortal wounds. So, and Chaos doesn't, doesn't actually receive any negative effect from this one. Uh, the artifact is basically an ancient rock, really powerful, and um, if you conquer this terrain for the month later, you will have these powerful rocks. At the beginning of the game, you choose a hero, and these heroes 
once per game can add plus one to the hitting rolls. Uh, yes, for the hitting rolls for one weapon, the mount can't be choose. Let's move on. Next one. Next one. Let's go to Niagara, the the river of life, where order is and where order can feel much safer. This is why you can add plus one to all bravery unit if you have a whole order army. This is the uh, allegiance ability for this terrain for order. Um, then uh, it would be cool because we have in the club uh, a, um, a river, but you can use a general scenery for that is thematic, and that represents basically the river where only the guys from order that know really well this place can know how to cross it. All the other units will will get some disadvantage. So basically, every unit that end the movement phase uh, or charge uh, and finish the, the charge uh, within the water of this territory, they suffer the three mortal wounds. So the idea is that basically if you're playing order, that is, of course, they can finish within the water without having any problem. But if you are in order, you know really well this territory. So what you want to do is basically create a line behind the river so that the enemy, when they charge, they had to finish in the river to be able to charge you. And there they will suffer these three mortal wounds because some of them will, will fall inside the rivers and basically they will die. <clears throat> and uh, finally, what you have is a magical flower <laughs> as, a, as a, an artifact. So you can, uh, if you are, the, if you conquer this terrain at the end of the of the month, uh, for the month later, you have this powerful flower that allow your hero at the beginning of the game. You pick the heroes, and uh, once per game, you can uh, double the range, uh, or you can. Uh, oh, if he's not your general, you can use inspiring present. If he's your general, you can double the range of inspiring present, uh, and that's it. Once per game. Uh, the, the last one, Frostland. Wow, you can see how. Now, in this this one, I didn't, I, because I printed, there is not a uh, uh, color of the background, but in the real PDF, I also add a even more characteristic feature on, on the texture of, of, the, of the paper. Frostland, where basically destruction is, is a full of snow and ruins building. And uh, destruction, uh, if you try to fight against a destruction force uh, and you, you will get minus one to bravery if you are in combat with them because they get, basically they are more scary than, even more scary than what they used to be. And uh, if they play outside, um, then uh, if you have uh, a ruined building in the, in the middle, what happened is that um, in this terrain, you need to roll a dice for each unit that end the movement within one inch of this terrain. And on a four plus, the unit uh, get stuck in the ruin because they don't really know this territory. So for destruction force, this doesn't affect, but if you ended up within one inches on a four plus, uh, you, you can't charge any, or you can't uh, even shoot. So basically you can do a lot. Anyway, uh, the last one uh, basically is a mystical knife uh, that is the artifact. You can pick a hero at the beginning of the, uh, of the game. Um, and with this magical knife, you can pick one attack. It can't be the mount, and you can add one to all wound rolls for your heroes once per game. Uh, so that's it. Hope this video is going to be useful for you that you're running your campaign. These are only a few suggestions for a standard map that are four basically land for four different agency. I may think about that in more and I will let you know if I'm going to do it. Uh, the campaign is not started yet. We have 10 players at, at the moment. Uh, we'll let you know how it will go. Uh, hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.